comes up. Um, but unfortunately, uh, I believe a couple of items that I've previously mentioned, we're going to fall behind the power curve here. And uh, uh, I would just ask for that unanimous approval to allow us to go into closed session. Supervisor. Supervisor Colfax, uh, would you consider, instead of the 530 rule, say maybe taking an hour dinner break or something and coming back no. here? At no, we either handle it no. now or we don't handle it at all. That's the line that I'm drawing right here now. So, Mr. Chair, are you, are you proposing that we uh, impose the 530 rule on all aspects of business except the closed session that Council and the CEO are asking us to yes. conduct? I support that. If, that's, if, that, if that can get us moving on, let's do that. That's not the rule, though. Not the rule. Not the I rule. know. We, 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 have to, we have to get a unanimous approval to even do that. Well, if we can... It, it, if you want, if you're asking for unanimous approval yes. to do that, I'll support that to okay. get on with it. Don't have it. It's not the rule. It. We can't change the rules in the middle midstream no, here. It's not the 530 oh, the rule. It's not covered. That's all. It's not covered in the rule. Well, if David supports it, then it's unanimous. Then we he's got to not call a 530 rule. Oh, I don't agree with you. Yeah. yeah. No. You can extend the the time yes. by unanimous consent, but what you, what is not clear from our rules, and I don't believe you should do. Um, is pick and choose what you want to hear by extending the time. I'll tell you what is clear to me. Before <laughs> yeah. we adopt these rules next year, we need to wipe out that 530 rule. That's what's real clear to me. That's your first meeting in January. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it might not be clear to the counselor, but it is crystal to me. And if I get called on breaking the rules or the laws, it's for the betterment of the citizens that we be allowed to take up the two closed session items and, and uh, concede to the supervisor about not taking any action on this item. I would ask, and however you want to formulate that wording, that we be allowed to move into that discussion and cease all open agendized items. Okay. Simple as that. Um, it, it, it's either that or, or, or we continue to uh, not lead in regards to the budget, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I, I ask for uh, a unanimous approval to allow the retraction of the 530 rule to the extent of just taking up closed session. I don't think you can do that, Mr. Chairman. I think That's a violation he of the can, rules. with unanimous Well, support, I'm ready to violate the rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is another option, I guess. You can amend the rules right. upon consent of four-fifths four vote. Right. So, I mean, you can amend the rules. Do, do I hear an amendment to allow us to take this up as I've discussed? I make a motion to do away with the 530 rule. <laughs> oh. That's that's not an amendment. Well, I'll amend the motion to make to make the 530 rule 830. That's an amendment. That's not doing away with it. That's just I'm amendment. I'm losing it here. Okay. Is there a motion to suspend the rules? Uh, to allow for the previously mentioned discussion to take place. The closed session discussion. Closed session only discussion. Yes, I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Please. Pretty please. <laughs> <laughs> With whipped cream and a cherry on it. <laughs> I'll, I'll make I'll second the motion for discussion. Okay, great. That doesn't mean I support it. There is a motion you know, and a second I, to I, suspend I the just, rules. What really bothers me, what before us right now, is an issue that's totally relevant to the town of Mendocino, and we have everybody in here is from the coast, and Supervisor Colfax, I don't think it's in the best interest of the constituents of your district to make these people come clear over the hill. We always talk about trying to conserve energy and everything. There's a lot of folks out there that are interested in this. You know, they expect a decision from us. And do you really think by our next meeting in two weeks, it's going to change? Week. 
or next week it's going to change the decision what's about to be made here? I think not, and you know that. It's not going to change your mind or my mind or Jim's or Mike's or Kendall's. The, the, our minds are made up how we're going to vote on this. So for the good of your constituents, I would encourage you to at least let this issue be done and then call your 530 rule and suspend the other issues. And you all have an opportunity to vote for Mr. Pinches when he's up for re-election <laughs> in two years. No, they don't. They're not That's in my right. district. That's right. That's my point. Exactly. <laughs> well, I tried anyway. Su Supervisor Delbar. Mr. Chairman, the, in my 12-year tenure on this board, not once has the board ever overridden the rules. I've always considered that the nuclear option. No, we haven't ever overridden the rules. I challenge you, Supervisor, to find it. I think it's we did once this No, we did But whatever. Never done it. I agree so, with that. So I'm not going to do it this time unless it's an all or nothing. If I will do it if we continue all the business that's on this agenda. It's the only way I'm going to do it. I'm not going to pick and choose. And even that gives me heartburn to do it because, again, to me, that's the nuclear option. The rule's there for a reason. I don't think it ought to be removed next year, but it's not going to be my call. So if we don't conclude today, if the rule stands and the meeting is adjourned, all written business will be moved until Monday. That's the next meeting of this board, and we will continue these items on Monday. So it's the board's decision. But I will not support a motion that picks and chooses what we continue on afterwards. I concur, and I will rescind my second. I'm counting to 10 here. Five thirty rule has been called, and we will take up all additional business Monday. What time, Mr. Chairman? Uh, yeah. Nine a.m. Nine a.m. And we'll take it in the order. We'll start right off. Yes, sir. Well, I guess Monday. Monday. Yeah. Sorry about that.